Yeah, but mostly, yeah. most of the girls okay. couldn't make it on ours either. I'll just mute yeah. myself. Okay, so we'll just get it recorded and um, that way we can send it to them. All right, so um, like I'm so excited and I'm actually so excited that you're all from Australia. That really excites me. Australia brought me life lately. I loved it. Um, I helped open the first and largest Canadian team as well. And it, it's just fun. I thoroughly enjoy like coming into new countries and introducing the product and, you know, just coaching people on how to do that. I did that here in the U S. Um, so I was, I actually just had my fifth year anniversary. Um, I was one of the first founders in the U S as well. And so I feel like I just have, I don't know, it's just fun for me to introduce people to the brand that have never heard about it. Like there's just something about that, that I love. There's excitement that I feel like you can't get anywhere else, um, except introduction to the country. And obviously you don't need to be like new, um, or, you know, the first in the company to be successful, but I feel like it's a really exciting time. Like it's a really fun time to do it. So I am so excited that you guys are here. Um, obviously I'm a little biased. I think our team is the absolute best. Um, I think that we first and foremost, all of, I, I would say the bulk of our leaders have been here from the very beginning on our team. And that's something really unique to our team. A lot of the other teams that are larger, um, you know, the reps came in later, which is great, but it's fun to have, like when we started, I think we had 12 products total and we didn't have weekly stuff coming out. And so it was just like, it would be months, you know, it would be like two months until we got something new and we'd be so excited. Um, so it's come a long way and it's been really fun to watch, um, and do that. But with our team, um, I also love that we are family focused, like family first and not just family, but like whatever makes you, you, um, we don't want you to all be Zaya there. That's boring. Nobody wants to see that. You don't want to see it. Nobody else wants to see it either. And so we really encourage you as you're launching your business to just be you, to be the multi-dimensional person that you are, wife, mom, teacher, nurse, you know, whatever it is that you are, continue to be that and not just the Zaya rep. Um, like I said, we, we value time. And so another thing that we have, we have a lot of systems in place. Um, and I don't want you to go dive into everything right away because that just makes for overwhelm and there is no reason you need to know all of it right now. You know, after you've done this, like four years into it, I was like, okay, I'm bored. What else can I master? You know, like you, you're ready for those other steps. And so we have the team website. We do have a team website um, that's totally off of social for those people that do not want to get on social. You're able to access that. Um, and really it's from start to finish. It's everything that we ever known um, and have to offer to anyone. And so the team website's an awesome thing. Um, we also have obviously, hopefully you guys have plugged into the Facebook groups, Facebook messenger, and you've been able to see and kind of get a feel for our community, um, in those places as well. So again, please plug in wherever you want, but don't let it overwhelm you. I know at first some people are like, oh my gosh, there's so many different places, but really we're just trying to meet everyone where they're at, you know, in their own avenues. Um, so don't feel like you need to be connected in all the ways. And if you are a part of a messenger chat or something and it feels overwhelming, but just mute it or leave it. Like nobody cares. <laughs> we just want you to get what you need out of it. Um, so I don't know. Okay. I'm just going to give you guys my quick story just to give you a taste of where I came from. Um, so I have a background in nursing. I've been a nurse for 12 years. I was able to step out of nursing about three years ago. Obviously I'm very, very thankful for that right now. Um, my mom was the manager of our, our COVID unit here in our town. And so I got firsthand, you know, just hearing all about it from the nurse's point of view and I was just not sad. I wasn't there. I was ICU. So I definitely would have been in the thick of it that whole time. Um, and I also have a background in nuclear medicine nursing. So sometimes I miss it. Not a whole lot. When I started Zaya though, I was not looking for anything else. I love being a nurse. That's what I've always wanted to do. Um, I had four kids, six and under at that point. Um, and I really just like the leggings. Like I was just here for the leggings, not a business. And then I guess I was sharing with a lot of excitement and then other people started joining my team. I didn't even know people could join my team at first. Someone actually found my website and realized they could and let me know like, oh, I joined your team. And I'm like, wait, what? So I was totally clueless, no experience in direct sales whatsoever. Um, and then I realized what this could be. I actually had some friends that did really, really well in direct sales. And I thought if they could do it, I could do it too. And so I kind of was able to um, just take and borrow like their confidence in themselves for me. So when I started though, I had, I think my youngest was six months old. Um, and I was still working as a nurse and helping my husband in his business. We are self-employed otherwise. And so I didn't have time. And I actually felt like that was so good for me. It was so much to my benefit at that point 
because I only did the stuff that matters. Now it's really easy to get caught up in like, I need to make cute graphics and I need to do, you know, like all of these really great things that we can do. Those don't matter truly like they don't matter. I mean, it's fun to make and it's great to do. Like I had someone, I do reels a lot and someone was asking me like, okay, I need to like find time to do these reels. And she's so overwhelmed in life right now, just had a brand new baby. And I'm like, no, you actually don't. Now is not your season for reels. So I encourage you, if you're starting to feel that overwhelm, take a step back and see like what matters. And truly what matters is connecting with people that like, that's what it comes down to is like connecting with people. And so much of my business is in my direct messages, you know, because those connections are what matter in helping me build my customer base and helping me build my team. So it's good to have like a social presence, but if you have to take it down a notch to one thing, just remember to be um, connecting with people regularly. Um, okay, so launching your business. Have you guys had, just you can nod yes or no. Have you guys had your business launches yet? So no, no, okay, okay, good. Yes, okay, one yes, two no's. All right, so we're gonna talk business launch for just a second. So um, when I first started, like I had never seen a party. I didn't, you know, I hadn't been to a Zaya party. I literally laid what clothes we had out on my kitchen table. And I think I had some cookies and water and that was it. And I'm like, yeah, come try these leggings on. They're awesome. You know, I made everyone do like a squat test in front of my mirror. I'm like, just here so you can see that they, they're not see-through. Um, so launching your business, I encourage my new reps to do um, online and then in person if you're comfortable. I know some people aren't comfortable being together yet. If you are comfortable being together, I encourage you to do an in-person and online one only because I swear once I can get, if I can get someone to try the leggings on, like they're not going home empty handed. They're absolutely taking something with them. Oh, I have my in-person Sunday. Okay, good. Yes. Yeah, so one thing, here's what else I encourage. Um, try to have, I know it might be like too short notice if you have it coming up. I like to have a couple different sizes of the light and tights on hand just so that they can get a feel like, you know, if I have someone that's a size 18 and all I had was a size two, like that's not going to work. But if I have, you know, maybe three different sizes, so you've got, I, I just kind of think of it like extra small, medium, and maybe an extra large ish tight. That way everyone can get a feel for what they want. The other thing people like to try on is bras that for whatever reason, I think just because we're all so different, Everyone wants to fill the bra on. So if you are looking to host in-home events or do drop bags, drop bags is another thing that I've had a lot of success with, especially during COVID, um, was I would drop stuff on people's doorstep. And this, I mean, this was the days when we were like, don't touch anything for 72 hours, leave your groceries on the porch, you know, like wipe them down with Clorox wipes. I would leave them on their porch and be like, okay, you know, if you don't want to go get them for three days, let them sit out there for three days, I'll go and get them in five days, whatever but I would just drop outfits for them. So I just do a bra, tank, anything, you know, that I had that I thought they might like, um, I would drop to them. Joggers, let's see, okay, so joggers, I know for you guys are shoes, right? But those are like our pants. <laughs> so um, we were oh, trying God. to think. That is what's undoing me, hey, because I've always called something like that a crop. Okay, yes, and ours are like short tank tops. Those are crops. <laughs> I, I can't even, and so I keep saying crop. No, 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 bra. Um, and, yes. then the are, and then the leggings are these, and then the joggers are like a track pant, but they're not, they're not, yeah. Yes, it's, but not like the wind pants. Not a track yes. pant. We were talking to Felixa and she's like, well, maybe we could call them trackies. Like we were trying to come up with another name for you guys that would be helpful. We could not think of anything. We were not helpful. Um, and then let's see, tank tops or singlets, right? That's okay, yeah. So I think it's so funny to like kind of learn the different things, but yeah. So I would just put together like a little outfit for them and drop bags as well. Um, but your launch party, I want you to set your expectations almost right. So my launch, I don't know that I had, I wanna say maybe I had two orders. I just had my computer there. If people wanted to order right there, I encourage them to order there just because I know personally, if I leave somewhere without ordering, you're gonna have to remind me four different times. And like, I know people feel so uncomfortable like following up in that way because we feel like we're being pushy when really like it's super helpful for me, but I know I don't like to be that person. So I encouraged everyone to just go ahead. I'm like, let's just order right here. Let's get you going. So we would just get them ordered right that second. Um, but I don't want you coming into this thinking like I have two girls that had zero orders from their launch parties, like zero, not one, not even like moms or sisters, you know, like your dirt friends that will buy dirt from you. They did not have any of those. So none, no orders whatsoever. And they're both like in the top ranks of the company now. 
So please, if your um, parties are, you know, kind of like duds, that's fine. Like that is totally fine. Our goal right now is to just introduce people to the brand. Like you're bringing brand awareness. And with that comes a lot of people and a, with a lot of hesitation and that's normal. So come into your parties knowing like they may be zero sales at first and that's okay. Like we've got some tips and tricks talk to your sponsor about how to help you. Um, if you're in the messenger chat, you know, just ask people in there. Cause it's, I know our cultures are a little bit different. Um, parties for us, like online Facebook events are very normal for us to attend. I know that that's not a thing for you guys, you know, as much as it is for us. Um, I just view it though, the same as launching. Like when my husband and I launched our service business, we own pest control. Um, he went door to door and handed out flyers, just letting people know like, Hey, we're open for business. This is what we're doing. And so that's kind of what we're doing on social media and connecting with people. We're just letting know like, Hey, we're open for business. Here's what I'm doing. You know, if you're in the market for any act active wear, like I hope to be your person. Um, so just letting people know and coming from that place of, um, yeah, just kind of like service. I know, um, sometimes we have that hesitation of like letting people know what we're doing. Like, oh, I don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable. Well, by telling people what you're doing, it doesn't make them feel uncomfortable. And I'm confident. I mean, most people have social cues, so they know like, oh, this is too much. This is not enough. So I'm not worried about that. Um, and with scripts, here's another thing. <laughs> we do have scripts. I don't love using scripts because the way I speak is obviously not going to be the way you guys are talking. And people can sense that so quickly. So I encourage you to come up with your own things as you're saying, as you're inviting people, um, you know, maybe ask your sponsor, what would you say? Put it in your own words, you know, and then you can speak from there. I love using voice messenger. So especially now, like I was hosting a party um, just because parties were slow for me. And so I was doing my own event and I was voice messaging people. I have also heard in Australia, you guys don't use voice messenger a lot. I don't know if that was this. You do, you do. <laughs> Okay. 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 Good. So I use it all the time. I feel like as a mom and wife, that's just how I function. Like you just chat with them real quick and drop your phone rather than like texting it out. I also think it just feels good to, to hear people. Like I would hear, I would rather hear people than see a text. So I encourage you to use, you know, just utilize that voice message, let them hear you. And again, as you're moving forward and they're able to see all these different things that you're doing there, you're still you. Um, I have a friend that literally just purchased her first pair of leggings from me. She's one of my best friends five years later. Like it took her that long. She's like, I guess you really like it. I'm like, I guess so five years later, I'm still here, but I was never pushy about it. It came out naturally. And then she texted like, these are the best. I'm like, thank you. Like I'm, you know, but it, it was it, important to me that my friends never felt like I was pushing anything on them. So she came around eventually. Um, okay. So obviously if you're new to the business, you know, that it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable and it's going to stretch you. And I think as long as you manage your expectations and know that, you know, in this business, not even this business in any business, you're going to be stretched and feel uncomfortable. Um, it just sets you up for better expectations. And so, you know, like that's just part of it and it's okay. And so when you're nervous doing your first live or your first, you know, whatever your first invitations, everybody is, and we fumble through our words and we mess up. And that is okay. Actually, my very best party, my husband was out of town. And I think my kids at this point were like six, no, seven, five, three, one. And my daughter came running in during my live in my Facebook party. And she's like, mom, there's poop everywhere, everywhere. It is everywhere. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm in the middle of this live and I'm like, what do I do? Like, so I finally just said, you know, what? I'm so sorry. I have to go. Like I have to go clean up poop. That's apparently everywhere. And it was, it was everywhere. And anyway, I got back on the next day and I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm just going to finish up really quick showing you what I was. That's still one of my best parties ever. And it was mortifying. Like I wasn't like, it wasn't super fun. I mean, it wasn't mortifying, but it wasn't ideal. I'll tell you that. Um, but I think it's because it was so normal and natural. So please just know, like, don't expect to be perfect on camera. Everybody, like when people fumble through stuff or say the wrong things, I'm always like, oh yeah. Like, I feel like I'm talking to them in real life because that's what real life is like. Um, so as you're getting uncomfortable, just know it is okay. Like it's totally fine. It does get better. First is the worst. And then you just get better and better from there. Um, let me look at, okay. So one of our team goals is to earn you your kit investment back in 30 days. Do you guys all know about the moonshot, um, promo like it's, or the bonus. Okay. So if you rank advanced to senior rep, um, within, oh, is it 60? I'm trying to think if it's 60 or 90 days. I think it's 90. 
60, 90. <laughs> so I think it's um, your joining month plus the following two. Okay. So up to 90 days, right? Okay. So up to 90 days, um, you have to hit senior rep, which is our second rank. Um, and when you do that, yes, that is right. Okay. So when you do that, you get an extra bonus um, that more than covers your kit investment. And so that is our goal for everyone because I want you to be free and clear. And that way it's just all profit from there. Um, I like it by day 30. I mean, that's for my personally enrolled reps. That's what we do is by day 30, I want you to hit that. And so in order to do that though, you do have to have um, a team member um, in order to rank advance at any point. And now I know that this may sound like daunting. Some people are like, oh my gosh, I, you know, talking about joining your team. Um, I just want you to share naturally. And I promise like it will come if you're talking about what Zaya does. Um, you don't need to be wildly successful or have this crazy success story to share it with people and to have them be interested in what it is. Um, if you do feel like you need success stories, go to your uplines and you're going to be able to find, you know, those success stories um, in there. But I really don't think like I didn't build with those. And I think there's like, I think it's more natural without it. Um, and so I encourage you guys to just use your own stories and to just share like what you're loving about it and what you think is awesome and the potential that you do see in it. So um, earning your kit back, your kit investment back in the first 30 days with that moon um, shop bonus is like my very favorite thing. And we have, I was checking on our team. So my team is about 6,000 ish somewhere in there. Um, and I think last month we had like 180 people earn it out of 220 that joined. So it was a really awesome month. Like that's what I like to see is like that many people, you know, moving forward in that way. Um, so yes. Okay. Let me go. I'm like squirrel tonight. Let's see. And if Brittany, you is the, sorry, is the moonshot bonus a, just a temporary thing or is that a, that's a permanent. So the of... permanent, the through senior rep is permanent. And then the director, senior director and executive is the one that they are. What did they call it? It's a temporary one. They're kind of testing. That's what they did originally with the other one. So I think that they will all be permanent, but through senior rep is permanent. So it will always be there and available. And so that's, we have that kind of built in to our um, onboarding system because we want everyone to get that. And so we have this like um, moonshot launch, I think it's called the moonshot launch guide. Um, and that really just gives you step-by-step -step instructions of like how to get going, what to do. I'm a checklist person myself. So I prefer like, just give me my checklist and I can just make my marks as I move along. Um, but if you're not a checklist person, it's just kind of like your guide to double check yourself that, okay, I'm doing this, this, and this. Um, and okay, here's one question that I keep getting is, do I have to have parties to be successful? So long story short, no, you don't. But the reason we host so many events is to get in front of new people all the time. So if you don't have a plan B of how to get in front of new faces <clears throat> regularly, that's where events are just the easiest way to do that. Um, so we have had people grow really successfully without them, but I always encourage, it helps you build like a strong foundation, um, your VIP group. I have a girl um, on our team that she last month sold like <clears throat> 5,000 US dollars just from her VIP group like just from her VIP, like she didn't even have to have any events. She was having a new baby. So she was like, I know I don't want any parties. So that is why we build really, really strong, you know, because to build that VIP group, to have that community, that's just shopping from you all the time, you know, like without an event or something happening, that's why we build those. And so I really do encourage you, even if the thought of events to you sounds like cringy or gross, let's find a way for you to make it that it's not that way. Cause I'm going to be honest. I was the person that said no, like so many people would ask me to host things. And I'm like, mm, absolutely not. No, like I did not love them, but I run my events. Usually actually I've been trying them one day lately and had really good success with them figure out what works for you. I've seen our parties. I've seen email parties, Instagram parties, um, a text party. Someone had a text party. Like, I think you can find a way, just get creative and figure out what will work for you. What won't feel cringy to you. You know, what can feel like authentic to you, but I do really encourage like having those parties. Um, so last thing, um, is really just kind of what we talked about earlier. Just remember if you're starting to feel that overwhelm, just keep it simple. Like just keep it so simple and make those connections and, and those invitations. Cause it's important to have those connections, but without the invitations, you're not getting like that full circle back in. 
Um, and so just inviting them, whether that's to your VIP group, whether that's to be a customer, to look at a specific product that you think they'd like, um, or to the business. I'm pretty bold. I know at the beginning, I remember when someone was like, oh my gosh, your outfit's so cute at, at a group fitness class. And I was like, oh, thanks. Like, I was so scared to even say like, I sell it. You know, it took me those baby steps in order for me to be bold about it. Now I literally could walk up to someone and be like, I have the best business and I want to tell you about it because I think you'd be really good. I've gained that confidence over time, but be bold in your asks and invites. Um, we're not bugging people. I mean, truly, like if that's all it is now, if someone said, no, I'm not interested and you continued, you know, <laughs> to like talk to them all the time about it you know, maybe you are bugging them, but that first ask and invite is not like, we're not bugging people. Um, and I have, you know, a VIP group of people just there to prove that, like they were happy to join and excited to get in on all of the, you know, different discounts and deals and different things that I offer in that group. Um, so just keep it simple and just talk to people from our launch party. I always say, try to get three more events, like three, four is ideal, but anywhere between like two to four events from your launch party. Um, and so showing people, one thing I do, if you guys aren't part of a, the marketing group, that's a really helpful group to be a part of. Don't scroll that page. There's like 70,000 people in it. So it is ridiculous. But what it is so helpful for is you could go in, in the search tab and, you know, type in like host credits and people will post all of their graphics of things that their hostesses have been able to get. Now, obviously in Australia, you're going to have to be more specific with your graphics um, because on those charts, it might be US dollars. And so you might need to convert them or something. Um, but I have, you know, I feel like share those, show what people got for what price versus a graphic of like, okay, you can get two half off items. Like so often that doesn't speak to us. Like I'm okay, cool. That's really great. But if you can show me what I can get for $150, I'm way more interested in that. And I always have much more engagement on those when I post those versus, um, you know, just the graphics. So, okay. Do you guys have any questions? Let's start there. I'm going to look at our chat for just a second and see if there was any questions in there. I didn't see. Okay. Would love to do an online. I want to talk about this. So would love to do an online party, but not sure what to do. So we actually have um, specific Facebook groups that are literally set up to show you like exactly what to post. I mean, and obviously you can take all of those posts or you can just take one or two of them, you know, like make it your own, but we have specific templates for you. So you're able to just see what a party looks like. And those literally came from mine and Sarah's parties. Um, so that's like exactly what we post. And they are like older in that, and obviously with graphics, you guys will have to switch them out based on what you have, um, since you don't have all of ours yet. But um, as far as not knowing what to do on the online one, yes, like we can get you going on that Facebook one. Let's see. Okay. Sorry, Brittany, did you mean that you have an online um, group that we can be added to to see that? Is that what you yes. mean? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. That'd be great if we could yes. be added because that Let was my me... question as well. Okay, let me see if, actually, I'm just gonna look at my phone really quick to see, are you guys in, what team page are you in? What Facebook? Diet Papaya. Okay, so in, let me go look and see in Papaya where we have it. Um, sorry guys, let me. Cause I know we have it linked in there. Um, oh my goodness. Sorry. I guess I could have shared my screen with you so you could see. I'm looking in the moonshot launch guide because I think that we have it linked from there. And there's like two, I know of two for sure, two specific Facebook groups that we have. Um, Yes. Okay. So if you're in Zaya Papaya and you go to guides, um, under there, there is the moonshot launch guide. And so if you're in there, there is, let's see, what does it say? Run launch party in home or online. Join our team Facebook party outline here. And you can click on that and it'll take you right to the group. 
yeah, so you can just go in there and then um, see what they're all posting. I think that group, when we set it up, it was private. We were not thinking. So we will have to add you in. But usually Sarah and I go in a couple times a day and try to add people. So you shouldn't have to wait a long time. Um, but that'll give you ideas of um, like just, you know, a different template. I don't use as many posts as Sarah does. She does, I think, like eight posts a day or more. I keep it to about five. I am, I am a much more like less is more for me. So I try to keep it a little more simple. Okay, any other questions? Specifically about your launch party, since that's kind of where we're at. Most people are getting ready to launch, um, host those launch events. I'm so excited, it's fun. <laughs> and your event will be better than mine already, I can tell you that. <laughs> All right, no questions. You guys got it all figured out. You're good. Okay. Cool, just running both groups now. Okay, okay. And I'll go in afterwards and accept all of you. So if you're requesting to join, I'll get you in there soon. I'm on my phone on this Zoom, so I'll do it straight after that as okay. well. Yeah. I so did have a question though. Do, do you yeah. do Facebook event? Do you do an actual, like create an event on Facebook and run it through that? Is that how you do your So online, I do Facebook or? groups. Um, is how I usually do it because the problem with an event is that once you put in the time, you cannot add or like you can't add people and most people can't see the event beyond that time frame. So that's why I, I went away from events. I went to groups um, for that purpose. Now, one of my reps just told me she's been running them in her VIP group. Like she just has her VIP group and then she'll just post like, you know, four favorite things or whatever over the next couple of days. And she's like, it's been great. Then they're all in my VIP group already. And then, you know, people that are in your group know it's going to be like Zaya all the time. You know, they're not expecting much different. Um, so she's having wild success with that. So that's something to consider as well as just doing it in one group and then adding people. What I've been trying to do lately when I have two or more hostesses, I just do one big group. And that way I'm doing one live, you know, or I mean one live a day, um, cause I'll usually just do shorter lives. So usually like two or three lives total, um, and a welcome one. So instead of hopping in or doing parties every single week, I thought, how can I work smarter? And so I cram them all into one week, one party. And that way, you know, I do it that one week usually, and that's it. So that keeps my sanity five years later. Thank you. Yes, of course. All right, you guys. Well, we are so excited that you're here. Um, and of course, obviously reach out to any of us with questions. Um, if you're needing some support in your launch or have questions about, and we expect questions, please know that too. I hate when people are like, oh, I hate to bother you. I'm like, no, that's what I get paid for. Like literally this is my job. So don't hesitate to reach out. You know, um, we come with a lot of experience because we've failed a whole lot. And so <laughs> let us teach you in all the best ways that we can um, of how not to feel that. So all right, you guys. Well, we will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.